Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and the most significant changes that Microsoft have been working on until Windows 10 build 19.6.0.3. As a reminder, builds in the fast ring are no longer attached anymore to any specific release of Windows 10, so it is not clear when these changes will be available to users. Now let's have a closer look at these new changes currently available in the fast ring of the Windows Insider Preview program. Starting with build 19.6.0.3, Microsoft is planning to fully integrate the Windows subsystem for Linux into File Explorer by adding the ability to access Linux files with a new option in the left pane, as you can see right here. Now, when you install this build, you will see a new Linux icon that when you click it will list all the distros installed on your computer, and then you can just double click to browse the files. And by default, when opening a distro, it will place you in the root file system for that distro. Also, as part of the File Explorer changes, you can now remove search history by right clicking the item and click the remove from this device history. Or you can also click the X button next to it to remove it. In the taskbar, you're not going to see a lot of changes, but now Windows 10 has updated the location icon, so it looks more like a compass arrow instead of a solid dot. In future releases of Windows 10, when you open Task Manager and the Details page, you will now see an option that you can select to display the architecture for that particular app. You can now see which one is an x64 or x86 application right from Task Manager. Now let's jump into the settings app where we can see some new changes. For example, now if we go to the storage settings, we're going to see that we have a new user cleanup recommendations option that will display the amount of data that Windows 10 might be able to reclaim by deleting certain large and unused files, uninstalling apps that you might not use, and clearing copies of files already uploaded to OneDrive. If you want to see and delete these files, you have to click this option that it will take you to this new page where you can select the files that you think that you might not need and then just select and clicking in this case the cleanup button will delete those files. You can do the same for temporary files, large and unused files, copies of files already uploaded to OneDrive and you can also from this page see the apps that you haven't been using for some time. So you just need to check the apps that you want to remove and then in this case click the cleanup button to remove it from your computer. Also in the graphics settings, Windows 10 now will populate the apps that you may want to change to run in a specific GPU. Of course, if the app is not available on this list, you can always click the browse button to select the app manually. If you use your computer with a wireless connection, in future releases of Windows 10, Microsoft is removing the separate Hotspot 2.0 setting from the Wi-Fi settings page. And according to the company, this setting was provided during an experimental phase, and it is now fully integrated when wireless is enabled on your computer. Also, I haven't seen this before, but now you can see a lock indicating that you're connected to a secure network in the wireless icon. In the account section, the family and other users page is splitting up in two new pages, including your family group and people on this device. Inside the your family group page now includes the option to create new accounts linked to your Microsoft account family group. Usually you will use these settings to create an account for a young person on Windows 10, which you can control using the parental settings to restrict device apps and games screen time and configure well filtering and much more. In addition, the settings page also now has a new give the give all family members access to sign in on this device. And the option to add a new account has been renamed from add a family member to add someone. In the people's page, you will now will be able to add and remove accounts just like you used to do in the past, such as local accounts and accounts for anyone that are not part of the family group. This page replaces the other users section inside of the family and other users page. In the date and time page, the set time zone automatically will now be disabled when location is disabled. In the privacy settings, the downloads folder page is new to Windows 10 and it allows you to restrict access 
to the download folders on your computer. Also, the screen capture water, it's also a new page on Windows 10 and it is available to control which apps can disable the screen capture water. In addition, programmatic screen capture is also new and it is available to control which apps can screen capture arbitrary windows and displays on your computer. Also, in the diagnostic and feedback page, Microsoft is now changing the names for the settings that collect data about your device. For example, the basic diagnostic data is now known as required diagnostic data and the full diagnostic data has now been changed to optional diagnostic data. Finally, on future releases of Windows 10, we also are going to see a new family group setup, as you can see right here on this page, that allows you to configure multiple accounts when you are already managing family members from your Microsoft account. And finally, the Windows Recovery environment no longer requires an administrator password to access the recovery tools. And these are basically all the most significant changes that we're seeing in the fast ring for Windows 10. Like I said at the beginning of the video, changes in the fast ring, they're not tied to a specific Windows 10 release. So it's not clear when we're going to see these new improvements rolling out to users. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.